The Genome Sciences Centre at the BC Cancer Agency in Vancouver, British Columbia is a large-scale DNA sequencing, bioinformatics and proteomics operation uh, that focuses on pressing problems in cancer treatment. The founding director of the Genome Sciences Centre was Dr. Michael Smith, a Nobel laureate in uh, 1993. Oh, the GSC's greatest strength is its people. So that concept of people uh, driving discovery is, is very important to us. We have something on the order of 320 now working at the GSC. Understanding the human genome is important for cancer research because it really tells us what are the constituent of the cells that that drive the cancer cells to divide uncontrollably. The Genome Sciences Center set us apart from the capacity we have to rapidly take a sample from a patient, sequence it, and analyze the information very rapidly because of the bioinformatics pipeline. So physicians can really learn, not quite in real time, but we're striving for that, about what's happening in a patient and what, what is driving cancer progression and resistance to treatment. The Genome Sciences Center really is one of the building blocks that we, we really have been able to build all of our successful programs upon. One role is uh, as a research department. The other role played by the Genome Sciences Centre is as a technology platform. And that cluster of platforms has become expert in the use of both sequencing, bioinformatics and proteomic technologies. And so presently we use what are called next generation sequencers, high throughput devices uh, capable of significant scale. Uh, to characterize human genomes and transcriptomes looking for signals that would inform us as to uh, the nature of the disease that the individual might be diagnosed with and perhaps ways to treat it. Uh, one of the examples of uh, our signature program, the Personalized Oncogenomics Program, or POG, uh, uses this powerful DNA sequencing technology. What we're doing is taking biopsies of patients with metastatic cancers and sequencing the DNA and RNA, interrogating it to, to a point at which we can understand what's driving this person's cancer so we can pick the right drug for the right person at the right time. POG is what any clinician would hope for for a collaborative research project. It's taking an individualized person's data and having the wealth of knowledge and experience of a genome scientist, as well as pathologists and all the other scientists that are involved in this project. We know that 5 to 10 percent of cancers are hereditary. What that means is that individuals inherit the first mutation that caused their cancer. At the Hereditary Cancer Program, we are the sole provider for counseling and genetic testing for hereditary cancer in British Columbia and the Yukon. Back in 2014, the Genome Science Centre began conducting a 14-gene hereditary cancer panel to diagnose hereditary cancer families for a broad set of conditions. The oncologists at the BC Cancer Agency are currently using tumor sequencing to help inform their treatment choices. What we've found is that sometimes we can actually identify potential hereditary cancer families from these mutations that appear on these tests. The top research priorities revolve really around uh, precision medicine uh, right at the moment and, and how we bring individualized glimpses of patient genomes and transcriptomes into the clinic. Cancers evolve over time at the level of, of their genome and transcriptome and epigenome. Uh, we've come to understand the molecular, molecular makeup of cancers. We've come to understand the enormous individuality uh, in individual patients and their cancers. And so all of this has been revealed. First is that we're unique in Canada in being a cancer agency that has a major research component. What that allows us to do is integrate research into clinical care and allows us a greater ability to do translational research than might exist in other jurisdictions. We're also very fortunate to have some very great people who work at BC Cancer. And the third thing is that we are a truly integrated provincial organization. And a major investment was made in genomics at BC Cancer. And we have one of the most impressive genomic programs that you will find anywhere in North America, if not the world. So we first of all want to make a meaningful impact on the lives of everyone in British Columbia who is touched by cancer. We also want to do research into cancer that is impactful not just in British Columbia, but worldwide. A vision for the future of the GSC really does point towards this concept of, of trying to understand the features of complex disease in patients. So I think our function, especially at the BC Cancer Agency, has to be tightly tied uh, to our, our mission uh, at the Cancer Agency Care and Research. Uh, enriching the lives of the patient population. So we're at a point in time where we have this very powerful technology 
and through the platforms we've created and through projects like the Personalized Oncogenomics Project, where we're sequencing whole genomes and whole transcriptomes as rapidly as possible and informing uh, treatment decision making based on those results, that has to be the way that, that we go forward. That shining light off in the distance, that place to which we think we are going, really does revolve around the concept that, you know, we could generate genome and transcriptome sequences and maybe more than that for individuals interpret that information and inform treatment planning routinely.